Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King pre-patch. Today is the day that we start our Death Knight playthrough, so yeah, not really a lot else to say. I think I'm just going to get right into things here. If you're new here, and even if you're not, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you are new here, I play WoW a little bit differently. That's what you once okay, we'll, we'll let it play out. You stood boldly against the shadow and purchased another dawn for the world with your life. But the evil you fought is not so easily banished. The victory you claimed not so easily held. For now, the specter of death looms above the world yet again, and it has found new champions to bring about its final reign. Knights of Darkness wielding runes of death and destruction, bound by the will of the Lich King. This is the hour of their ascension. This is the hour of your dark rebirth. I forgot they had a little intro. Yeah, what I was saying is I play WoW a little bit differently than other people you might have seen on the internet in that I like to get immersed and just kind of have a relaxing time of things. Uh, to help with that, I'm going to do a couple of things here. One is to create a new tab in chat called Immersion Mode. The point of this tab is that we're not going to see any of the random scroll and things like that. That can be really, really distracting, especially as a viewer. So yeah, let's go through. We're going to make sure all that's disabled. We are going to show experience, uh, skill ups, item loot... Money loot not really as important. System messages and errors we're going to show. And that's all we're going to see here. Let's go ahead and unlock it and just shrink it down a little bit. Get it out of the way. Other things we need to do. I'm sure we need to turn on auto loot here. So let's go ahead and do that. And action bars. We're going to want our bottom two. Let's just go ahead and show these. And we are working with uh, the Immersion add-on. I do have Questy up. I don't know if Questy is really functioning. Uh, I did update it. So it should be working. Uh, we also have Immersion, which is just going to take the basic quest box and turn it into something a little nicer. Something that breaks up the dialogue a little bit better, makes it easier for me to read, and just makes it come off in a more natural way gonna slide these down here where I like them that should be pretty good and yeah let's go ahead and get into it in service of the Lich King all that I am anger cruelty vengeance I bestow upon you my chosen knight I have granted you immortality so that you may herald in a new dark age for the scourge gaze now upon the lands below us the Scarlet Crusade scurries to undo my work while Light's Hope Chapel stands defiantly against us, a blemish upon these plague lands. They must all be shown the price of their defiance. You will become my force of retribution. Where you tread, doom will follow. Go now and claim your destiny, Death Knight. Alright. I also want... There we go. Okay. Oh. now upon the lands below us. The Scarlet Crusade scurries to undo my work. My light's hope stands defiantly against us. A blemish upon these plague lands. They must all be shown the price of their defiance. If I knew he was going to say it all, I would have accepted the quest without reading it. This takes me way back. I have not seen this area in a long, long time. So, And even when I did see it, I never read the quest, so these are all going to be relatively new to me. In service of the Lich King, you have heard the call of the Lich King Death Knight. Now is time to answer your master. The single most important piece of equipment to a Death Knight is the Rune Blade. 
It is through the Runeblade that a Death Knight commands the powers of Frost, Blood, and the Unholy. The Runeblade also acts as a vessel to store the Death Knight's runic power. The time has come to create your first Runeblade. Search the weapon racks on this floor to locate a battle-worn sword. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, we do have some racks down here, but these are not what they're talking about. He wants us to check these out over here. Battle-worn sword. Okay. And then he had a little bit more he wanted us to do. I just didn't really take a look at it. Once found, take the sword to a nearby rune forge and use it to create a rune blade. Okay. And how exactly do we activate the rune forge? Maybe we need to. There we go. We click the item. All right, that looks good. It looks like that's all he needs us to do with that. The rune blade is an extension of your being. A death knight cannot battle without a rune blade. Well done. You have successfully created your first rune-bladed weapon. With it you will sow the, sow the seeds of chaos and destruction. In your wake will be the bloodied field of battle littered with the corpses of all that would dare to oppose the Scourge. The mark of war is etched indelibly upon your soul, Death Knight. You have learned the dark art of rune-forging, and with it you will engrave the runes of power upon your weaponry. Preparations for battle must be made. Return to one of the runeforges here in the heart of Acherus and use the power of runeforging to emblazon your weapon with a rune of power. And so now we need to go into... Yeah, let's go here. Uh, what do we want to do? A Cinder Glacier affixes your rune weapon with a rune that has a chance to increase damage by 20% for your next two attacks that deal frost or shadow damage. Or Razor Ice. 2% extra weapon damage as frost damage and increases enemies' vulnerability. Uh, I guess let's go Razor Ice for now. It would probably help to actually equip the weapon. That would help a lot. Remember these words, Death Knight. The Rune Forge is a Scourge instrument. It exists only in Arcarus, Naxxramas, and the Heart of Ice Crown. You may only emblazon your weaponry at a Rune Forge. Return often and emblazon all of your weapons. A Death Knight must be prepared for all that would dare to oppose him. The endless hunger will soon take hold of you, Death Knight. When it does, you will feel pain immeasurably. There is only one remedy for that suffering. The hunger must be sated. I give you the key to your salvation. Chained to the heart of Acherus are those deemed unworthy of the Dark Brotherhood. Use the key to free an unworthy initiate. Allow them to equip their gear and battle you for their freedom. Kill them, and the pain will cease. Fail and suffer for eternity. Oh. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, who looks likely? Um, do we have to... What exactly do we do here? Oh, we click on their little things. Uh, let's fight a big beefy Torin boy. Uh, we have auto attack, which we're going to use. Death grip. It's going to pull them to us. Icy touch chills the target for 127 frost damage and infects them with frost fever, a disease that deals periodic damage and reduces melee and ranged attack speed. Uh, a vicious strike, a plague strike, a vicious strike that deals 50% weapon damage plus 63 and infects them with a blood plague. So we probably want to do both of these. And then Blood Strike instantly strike the enemy causing 40% weapon damage plus 104 total damage increased by 12.5% for each disease on the target. Okay, so we do that after the disease is up. And then Death Coil is a ranged attack. 
Okay, so that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I don't think I need auto attack on my bar. We'll go something like this for now. Though, I, I will be changing these keybinds probably pretty frequently. As expected, my chosen knight has triumphed. You are ready. The Eye of Acherus. Behold Acherus, the Grand Citadel of Death. It has no equal in this world. Not even the mighty Naxxramas could withstand a direct assault from the Ebon Hold. Looming above the face of the Necropolis is the all-seeing Eye of Acherus. From it, the Master is able to see great distances into the territories held by our enemies. What the Eye sees, the Lich King sees, and now the time has come for you to peer through the Eye. Okay, sounds creepy, but let's get into it. The time to spill blood of the blood of our enemies approaches. You must first learn what it is that you seek to destroy before rushing headlong into battle. It is what separates a death knight from a mindless ghoul. I will grant you the sight beyond sight, my champion. You will use the Eye of Acherus to steal our enemy's secrets. Towering above this platform is the Eye of Acherus. From it, you will call forth a probe that you will then use to analyze Scarlet Crusade fortifications at New Avalon. The eye has a host of powers and should make the acquisition of this data simple. Use the eye's siphon to analyze the forge, town hall, hold, and chapel. The eye's control mechanisms are located on either side of the platform. Waste no more time. You know what to do. I, I think I do. We'll, we'll see if I actually know what to do. I kind of remember this, and I remember that we can still get ourselves into trouble with this eye. Eye of Acris launches towards its destination. So we have become a blue ball. Uh, and yeah, that's absolutely fine and normal. We are kind of eye-like. Okay, um, let's see here. We have the Siphon. We have Summon Ghouls on Scarlet Crusade. And we have Shroud. Shroud's the eye from Sight. Combat Breaks. And then we have Recall. Uh, I don't really know which buildings are which here. Oh boy. Yeah, we are we are taking fire. So that's one thing done. There we go. Uh, I'm assuming this is probably the barracks. like it if these were more clear. The chapel. We need the chapel. Ah, uh, the chapel. I actually don't know. Is this the chapel back here? Uh, something weird was happening. Okay, the chapel's actually this way. Kind of weird music to be playing there, not really uh, in the spirit of what we're doing. All life must they prepare for battle as expected, but there is something else. I sense an old enemy, an enemy that I destroyed long ago. It matters not. We will send the full might of the Scourge against them before they have a chance to evacuate their homes and put in place their defenses. Listen well, Death Knight, for I give you the words that will start a war. My final judgment has been passed. Death to all. 
None shall stand so boldly against the might of the scourge without reprisal. As you have served me well in your first task, so too shall you serve me in your next. Take my judgment to High Lord Mograine at the command post of Acherus, found at the, on the first floor. Tell him to begin the assault. And when the crusade has been dealt with, we will finish off the Argent Dawn. I am actually gonna, I rarely ever do this, but I'm gonna go turn the music down just a little bit. I like to keep the music and ambience up, but sometimes it, it seems to get a little bit overpowering depending on which music track they're playing. It's definitely not completely normalized. Alright, let's go talk to Darien. The, life we have is meaningless. the horns of war will soon echo across the land, waking the dead and calling forth the Scourge War Machine. Woe unto those that would stand in our way. You and your brethren will lead the charge. When next I look upon the Scarlet Lands, my sight will be obscured by the legions of Arcarus. The march upon New Avalon begins now. Scourge Commander Thalinor awaits your arrival at the Overhang, located directly southeast of our current position. Report to Thalinor and requisition a Scourge Griffin to deliver you to Death's Breach. Prince Velanar will be waiting for you down below. Uh, someone has a quest over here. Oh, we run faster down here because we're awesome. We have Dominion now, so... I will listen for now. Uh, the power of Blood, Frost, and Unholy. Within the Hall of Command, you will find the schools of Blood, Frost, and Unholy. Each school has a trainer that can provide you with knowledge in various dark arts. I, Lord Thorval, am the headmaster of the School of Blood. Lady Alistra reigns over the Unholy and Ark, and the Ark Lich Amal Thazad holds dominion over Frost. You must return here whenever you gain power to train. Is day. Okay, so these are just class Great trainers? I'm assuming? Alright. You need something. The war has begun, Death Knight. I shall place you upon my finest griffin and deliver you to Death's Breach. Chaos, death, and destruction. You will herald all of this and more. Ashes to ashes. And now we are in the thick of things. Do you smell it? Belinar sniffs the air. Fresh meat, the scent of Scarlet Crusader wafts through the air. Belinar salivates. How would we know his mouth is covered? Apologies, Death Knight. I'm sure you're not interested in my choice of fine cuisine. You are here to work, to lead the charge. Yes, I know. The Lich King has told me all that I need to know about you. The time for bloodshed is now. They make their stand now outside Death's Breach, futilely attempting to push us back in hopes of saving their horses, mines, and lumber and citizens. This will be your first lesson in scourge warfare, terror. Go to the front lines south of here and destroy Scarlet Crusaders. Leave their corpses so that we may utilize them for the Death March. Most importantly, Kill the fleeing villagers. Soldiers dying are in affordance, but villagers? That is what strikes fear into the hearts of man. Alright. Who else has got quests for us? Quite a few people. Grand Theft Palomino. How fortuitous it is that the crusade has a stable full of horses a mere stones throw away from the post. Although they guard it tenaciously, an enterprising young Death Knight could break through their defenses and take what is rightfully his. Alright, we will steal ourselves a mount. The Sky Darkens. The sky Darkeners are mindless constructs with one purpose, to kill. Specifically, they are aiming to kill any man or woman that they see fleeing Havenshire for the safety of New Avalon. We certainly can't allow those cowards to make it to safety and then take up arms against us. 
There's one problem, they use Serenite arrows for maximum range and damage. Serenite, however, is a metal only found in Northrend, so supplies are limited. Retrieve those arrows for me and I will reward you handsomely. Death's Challenge. Born of the Lich King's victory over Illidan's Stormrage in the heart of the Frozen Waste, Death's Challenge is a rite of passage that all Death Knights must undergo. Seek out an other Death Knights in Acherus and challenge them to a duel. They must accept and fight until a victor emerges. Uh, I think we could do this with NPCs. Speak your peace. Maybe. Yeah, the initiates. The question is... Are we going to find any initiates, like, chilling out that uh, are not being fought currently? It doesn't really seem like... Here's one. Let's what? Suffer well. try to get them as they pop up. It is a day you'll be thoroughly owned. I didn't realize they were going to have, like, comedic text. I, I have no idea how to play a death knight, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my my frost plague, frost fever, and blood plague up, and then I'm trying to blood strike, because that that's damage is increased for each of our diseases on the target, and then I guess I, I just blood strike until I'm out of of runes or runic power. So this requires a blood rune. This requires an unholy rune, and this requires a frost rune. Okay. Alright, so... There's another initiate here. Our masters will be Let's probably practice on these guys before we uh, head down and fight actual enemies. So right now I can do one, two, three, one, two, three. When we can't do anything else, we can do uh, Death Coil, which costs Runic Power. Now if they parry, we don't actually get the disease to go up, so I have to be mindful of that. And this will be our last initiate. Uh, well, hard to tell if somebody else challenged this guy or not. No potions, he says. Hilarious. Just hilarious. Let's death grip this guy. Just for fun. Also turning with floating health bars on would be good. Alright, that's all of our duels fought. We'll go ahead and turn this one in. We got a trinket. It's like a PvP trinket. And let's go ahead and we'll, we'll slide down the... Ah, uh, well, that looks like a long drop, actually. Maybe I, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to go down the normal way and head over here.
I will try to keep track of the gear we're getting and actually equip our upgrades. That's going to help us out immensely. Oh, they start us with a couple of gold. Or did, maybe we accumulated that by doing quests. Maybe we didn't start with it. I think the first thing I want to do is maybe get in here and get a horse. I think we just ride this back up here, right? Yeah, this is the turn-in button for it. Now for the true test. Can you show mastery over an unbound charger and brutally overtake the thing that you desire most? The horse you stole has been taken to the realm of shadows. It is there that my dark rider will slay the beast and raise it as his death charger. Do you think yourself brave enough to enter the realm of shadows in pursuit of the death charger? If you accept, it will transport you to the shadow world. Once there, seek out a dark rider in the open fields south of us. To emerge victorious, you must slay him, overtake his death charger, and return it to death's breach. Okay. That's something different. Oof. Yeah, oof, that's what I said. Um, well? This is interesting, I really... I, I really don't know what to think about this. Maybe any of these guys will do? Yeah, I guess we can grab any of these guys. Oh, that did not pull him. Okay. We did it. Uh, well that's... Okay, maybe we did trigger it. Impressive, then they return to me in the living world for your reward. Oh, okay. Alright, we got a, a relic. Increases the damage dealt by your blood strike and heart strike abilities. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, did we unlock our mount? I felt like we did. But I don't know where we would find said thing. It's not in our inventory like normal mounts are. Oh, it's in our pet tab in our character window. Okay, neat. That, that's a change. Well, that was probably a good idea to do that, like, right away. Now we can focus on fighting Scarlet Crusaders, taking care of citizens, and finding Serenite Arrows. There is a quest at the mailbox. 
I love how these buildings have doors. <laughs> they don't want us going in there so they have doors. That's great. Why? I don't know. We're evil. It's not really a good reason why. Uh, I haven't really been seeing a lot of arrows. Maybe if we come further south into the fields, we'll find some. There's lots of arrows here, but there's not really a lot of anything else that we need going on. There's these guys, which are a little bit annoying because, uh, well, we don't need them. Also, I'm finding it curious that they use hyenas as farm hounds. I guess this was before the uh, bulldog model was in the game. Because, yeah, these are clearly hyenas. Alright, there's that. Uh, you. That's quite a sound our mount makes. She says, have mercy, and then the Lich King whispers to us, mercy is for the weak. That's pretty cool. Some of these citizens are uh, rather confident. I, I like that he whispers to us. That's pretty cool. This person is playing dead. I don't buy it. We just watched this one get, like, pinned to the ground with a Serenite arrow. Oh, gosh. Oh, he can't move because he's pinned down. It's awful. <laughs> They're doing a good job of making us seem pretty evil. Like, we're getting into character here. And then they're going to try to redeem us. <laughs> That's going to be the awkward part. I guess, like, he said that our will was not our own, so... Right now, we don't really have any choice. Obviously, that won't always be the case.
Well done, Death Knight. You feed the Scourge War Machine with your deeds. Uh, we'll take... I don't really know. Oh, we just It's just a resistance. We'll take Shadow Resist. Do you feel it? That sensation is raw power coursing through your body. Such a thing cannot exist for mortals. The front lines are now dismantled. The Geist will finish the job and prepare the grounds for Resuvius. We turn our attention now to more tactical targets. Gothic the Harvester. Chaos. The Crusade is in a frenzy. They have diverted all forces outside New Avalon to set up a blockade at Light's Point east of here. They are desperately trying to strip the Havenshire mine of all resources and load the cargo aboard the frigates they have docked on the coast. Let's stir things up a bit, shall we? Gothic the Harvester, Grand Necromancer of the Lich King, has graced us with his presence. He has a gift he'd like to bestow upon the Scarlet Crusade. Seek him out. Why do I have a feeling it's not going to be a nice gift? You have fought hard to invade the realm of the Harvester. Wait. Gothic looks at his notes. My apologies, human. Old habits die hard. Valinar sent you, then. I trust you are somewhat competent. I do have a gift for the Scarlet Dogs, one that is sure to speed up their work in the mines. I have come from the frozen heart of Naxxramas to feast on the souls and deliver a vicious thrashing upon our sworn enemies, and I'm all out of souls. This device I'm about to give you is a portable plague spreader. Take it east to Havenshire Mines and unleash it near the Scarlet Miners working inside. Use it to turn the miners into ghouls and return to me when you have a small army at your side. All right. Whoop, that was a big jump. Yeah. Uh, oh, hi there. Sorry. Oh, you didn't turn into a ghoul, you turned into a ghost. How many do we need? Five? Okay. Oh, we got a spirit again. Oh, why did we get this one now? What's going on with that? I don't know how many we have. I'm also kind of sensing that maybe... They despawn from us after a minute? I think we have three right now. Huh. Uh, maybe we need to be running them back as we get them? Yeah, I don't think they're all staying with us. The ghost spawning is kind of annoying too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I wish we can get like an accurate count of how many we have. I feel like they tend to stack up on each other. I think we have three right now. 
This will be four. Oh, they're getting hit, I think. Okay. Uh, maybe I should start heading out of here, though. You've created enough ghouls. Okay, so we've made enough ghouls. We can now attempt to find our way out of here. I don't actually remember where we came in. Robert gets lost in the cave. Go. Uh, maybe this way? No, that's a dead end. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I guess it has to be the long way, right? I didn't realize we'd come back in here so far, but we didn't really have a lot of choice. Kinda happy none of these guys are, are willing to aggro us. That would be quite a bit of bother trying to get our way out of the cave. And we do need to make our way back up top. I think we can do that right here, can't we? Oh, there we go. Only the Scarlet Forces at New Avalon and Light's Point challenge us. The time to attack the Scarlet Fleet at Light's Point has come. The diversion at the mine has caused chaos amidst their ranks. They are frantically working to clear the area and return to their ships. The time is ripe. Prince Velinar is seizing this opportunity to finish off the Scarlet F Fleet. Report to him at once. You have served us well, Dead Knight. Few of your brethren have survived our initial attack upon the Scarlet Interlopers. You remain as one of the strongest. East of us, past the Havenshire Mine, is the coast called Light's Point by the Scarlet Crusade. A thousand soldiers stand between us and their ships. Insurmountable? Hardly the point. In their haste, the Crusade will make one fatal error, forgetting to check the mine carts. You are to return to Havenshire Mine east of here and locate the mine cart that my minions have planted near the outhouse. Climb inside the mine cart and the Scarlet Miner will unwillingly see to it you are placed safely behind enemy lines. Oh, that's not a bad plan, yeah. I'm sure we'll fit quite nicely in that minecart. I could remember that we have a mount. could remember that. Uh, we did get a ring. Let's equip it. We have a trinket we can equip. Let's do that. Where'd this minecart come from? I better get this down to the ships. Yep, yeah, you better hurry. Don't mind all the death knights and ghouls running about. Just do what you gotta do. Yeah, that's a lot of troops and a lot of cannons. Feels like it could cause a problem for somebody. But apparently we're going to get in here behind lines and just decimate them. Maybe we're going to fire their own cannons upon them. I guess that's likely what we're to do. Let's see if we end up killing the miner who's dragged us all the way here. That would be sad for him and 
Probably just quite humorous in the world of Warcraft. No one questions what this guy's doing. Oh, that's that's smooth. Yep. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'll just leave it here. He vanishes. We we don't have the chance to kill Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, uh, we have a scarlet cannon and electromagnetic pulse. That's probably for the ones that get too close to us. Yeah, I think they're gonna like aggro us. It seems like they should have people guarding these cannon, like tons of people on the ships actually guarding the cannon. But they don't, so what are you gonna do? I think we're done. See you later. And they've all respawned. <laughs> Felt good while we were doing it at least. See, we really should have taken the ships, used the cannon to kill all the soldiers, pointed the cannons at the decks of the ships, and then destroyed the ships too. That would have been the way to go, that's how I would have done it. And then there probably would have been a frontal attack happening at the same time that we were shelling them. Something like that. Alright, let's get this one turned in here. The entire Scarlet Fleet wiped out in a matter of minutes. I will receive a commendation from the Lich King for this. All that remains of the Scarlet Crusade are now are the denizens of New Avalon. I'll set the fire starters and necromancers upon Havenshire immediately. You will carry my report to the High Lord. Prince Valner hands you a sealed scroll. This is the full report of our victory at Death's Breach. You are to deliver this to High Lord Mograine inside of Arcaris. I have made sure to include your heroics in the report. Mograine will undoubtedly reward you greatly for this victory. Why do I not really trust this guy? And also, how am I getting back up there? Because I'm taking this griffin. Maybe I'm just beaming up. Can I beam up? I, I can't beam up. No, that's not, that's not an option. I was certain you wouldn't make it back here in one piece, Death Knight. Perhaps there is more to you than I first surmised. High Lord Mograine reads over the report. The entire Scarlet Fleet? Such power. I have not seen such a display of domination in years since my father wielded. High Lord Mograine shakes his head. It's not important. Yes, your commendation, lest I forget. It is the will of the Lich King that drives us onward. None are more aware of this than Death Knights. Our very existence is intrinsically tied to this consciousness. Surely you have heard him speak to you, invading your thoughts. Can you hear him now? Perhaps it is too early for you. Morgan closes his eyes and nods to an unseen host. Yes, my lord, it will be done. You are to return to Death's Breach and report to Prince of Alinar. The Lich King commands it. Does he now? He probably does. Uh, do we need to train? I am not sure if we need to train. I don't know, I'm assuming we only train at even levels until 60, but I feel like they're just giving us our abilities right now. Let's check this guy just to make sure. Oh, he has lots of stuff for us to train. Yeah, Pestilence. Spreads existing blood plague and frost fever infections from your target to all other enemies, so it spreads our infections around. Okay. Not sure where I want to put that. Do here for now. 
what? A frost presence. Okay, that's going to be like our tanking presence. Mind freeze is an interrupt. Rune of spell breaking. That's a rune for the weapon. Rune of spell shattering. Death strike. A deadly attack that deals 75% weapon damage plus 84 and heals the death for 5% of his maximum health. That's going to be huge for self sustain. And raise dead. Raises a ghoul to fight by your side. If no humanoid corpse that yields experience or honor is available, you must supply corpse dust and complete the spell. So we're going to need corpse dust. Yeah, I doubt there's just going to be corpses around whenever we want to use that on cooldown. Uh, let's see. Mind freeze can go here for now. Death strike. I kind of want somewhere where I'm going to be able to hit it a lot. Let's do that. And Raise Dead is kind of a cooldown. That's on a three minute cooldown. I feel like that's fine for now. Alright guys, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. Uh, it's a lot to learn, learning a new class. So any tips you guys have, I would definitely be happy to hear them. But it probably is going to take me a little while to get my Death Knight legs under me, so to speak. We'll get some rested experience here. And uh, we will resume tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like would help me out a lot. And if you want to see more content, subscribing to the channel would be amazing. And I would be very grateful for it. Thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate you spending your time with me. And as always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime really soon. Bye for now.